Hey guys, welcome back. This is AJXG here with another video. So we have a $600 build here for you guys. Now, for $650, you can get a newer processor, but a lower end GPU. So it really depends on you, but I'm going to go down the list for you guys. And we're going to get into this. I'm going to show you some benchmarks for Fortnite and CSGO. Um, those are the only games that I've decided to download on this to test. And yeah, all right, so let's go down the spec list. So for this, I was lucky enough on Amazon, the Ryzen 5 2600 had went down to $105, okay? I don't know if it was a blip in the system, but I snatched it up for $105, and it came with a stock fan with thermal paste not applied. So I'm assuming it was like a return, but hey, it came straight from Amazon. If it wasn't working, I could have sent it back. Okay, the graphics card is an RX 588 GB. That was at Micro Center for $135. That was open boxed. So someone opened it, brought it back, and they had to lower the price. Okay, it was still in the packaging. Like the packaging wasn't torn, just the box was open. So literally, they didn't even put it into a system. Okay. I have a Gigabyte B450 board, you guys know I love those boards. It's a great board, has four DIMM slots and it can go up to 64 gigabytes, okay? Um, next I have an EVGA 500 watt power supply. This one came at 65 bucks, okay, that's with tax, um, 65 bucks, okay, it doesn't have all blacked out cables but that's perfectly fine because if you are just gaming and using it for tasks. You're not going to be looking inside your computer every five seconds, okay? Um, next, I got a 512 solid state drive. That was 50 bucks, okay? And the case is a thermal take case. I'm going to leave all this in the, in the description down below for you guys. The thermal take case was $50 or $54, one of the two. And it was a great snack. And that is actually a glass panel. That is tempered glass, okay, guys? Now, at first, I used this LED strip, which I got from Five Below for $5. Comes with a remote, all that, but it actually comes with um, a cable to plug into the RGB slots on the board. So I used it for the RGB slots. Now, one of the LEDs are dead, <laughs> but if it's on a specific color, all the LEDs light up. So that's beautiful, right? And to make this pretty, at first, I didn't have a um rgb fans for this case i just used the led strip but i felt it looked really dry so i got these fans off of amazon these fans were 17 dollars and some change i believe i'm gonna say 18 dollars and it comes with three fans and it plugs straight into the power supply it's the molex collector connector and you can daisy chain them so those were 18 bucks so at the end of this build it came up to roughly 575 dollars that's with the windows pro installation now we're going to get into the benchmarks stick around
right, so that was the benchmarks for Fortnite and CSGO. So as you see, this PC will do perfectly fine on those games. I didn't show for CSGO. CSGO, that was all high settings. Nobody plays on all high settings. But if you want to, you can get anywhere from 125 to 200 um, FPS on CSGO. And for Fortnite, as you see on competitive settings, you can get 200 FPS easily. No issues. So this is it the temps were pretty good um i let fortnite run i ran center bench all that and it didn't get super hot and this pc is actually really quiet i've seen some reviews about this sp particular uh gpu some people said it has a coil wine i don't hear anything and granted if you're playing the game with a headset you're not going to hear it either unless it's like <laughs> rubbing like an engine. Then there's a problem. But thank you guys for watching. AjaxG here. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, um, I actually have a gaming channel. So please subscribe to that. It's going to be all gaming. This channel is going to be strictly for tech stuff. All right. AjaxG out. <laughs>